Have you ever felt watched while playing your favorite game, alone in the dark? It's a chilling thought that most of us shake off as just a product of our overactive imaginations. However, one gamer's story might just make you reconsider. Our tale begins on a seemingly ordinary night. Our friend, let's call him Alex, was engrossed in his favorite online multiplayer game. With his headphones on and the glow of the screen illuminating his room, he was in his own world. But as he navigated through this virtual landscape with his team, he noticed something odd. There was an additional player in the game, a player who wasn't part of his team. At first, Alex brushed it off as a glitch. But then, things started to get eerie. This mysterious player seemed to know things about Alex, personal things. Things that a random player in a game shouldn't know. The unnerving part was this player wasn't just spouting off random facts. No, he was predicting things. Things that, to Alex's growing unease, started coming true. The line between the game and reality began to blur. Alex was no longer just playing a game. He was trapped in a digital nightmare, haunted by an unseen player who seemed to know his every move, his every thought. The more he played, the more the predictions came true, sending a chill down his spine. Was it just a coincidence? A series of random occurrences strung together by an overactive imagination? Or was there something more at play here? This is just one of many chilling tales from the world of gaming, stories that make us question what we know, what we believe, and what might be lurking in the shadows of our favorite games. Just a glitch in the game, or was it something more sinister? That's the question that haunts Alex to this day. And perhaps it's a question that will haunt you too, the next time you sit down for a late night gaming session. What would you do if your gaming console turned against you? Now that's a chilling thought. But let me tell you a tale where this nightmare came true. There was once a gamer who bought a second-hand console. It was a bargain, too good to resist. But, as the old saying goes, beware of cheap things. For they may come with a hefty price. Little did the gamer know that this console had a mind of its own. It was a sleeping beast, waiting for the right moment to awaken. In the quiet of the night when the world was lost in dreams the console would switch on by itself. Its eerie glow would fill the room, and it would begin playing sounds. Not the usual beeps and boops of a gaming console, no. These were disturbing hair-raising sounds, whispers that seemed to echo from the depths of an abyss, screams that sounded as if they were ripped from the throats of the damned. But that's not all. The previous owner of the console, a seemingly ordinary gamer, had vanished. No one knew where he'd gone. No trace, no clue, nothing, he simply disappeared, leaving behind only this console. This haunted console. The new owner began to wonder if the console was linked to the disappearance. Was it just a machine, or was it a portal to something far more sinister? Was it a mere coincidence, or was the console truly haunted? As the console continued its nocturnal activities, the line between reality and the virtual world started to blur. Fear set in, an icy grip that refused to let go. What was once a source of joy and entertainment had turned into a source of dread and horror. The console, a conduit to virtual worlds, had become a doorway to real terror. The gamer was left to wonder, had the previous owner suffered the same fate? Was he sucked into a terrifying realm by the console? As we delve deeper into the world of technology, we're left to wonder, what happens when our creations take on a life of their own? The line between the virtual and the real world blurs when technology takes on a life of its own. And in this case, it was a life of terror. Could a game hold a curse that brings misfortune to its players? A chilling question indeed, but one that takes us to the heart of our next tale of digital dread. The Cursed Game. Picture this, a game that isn't found in any store, not listed on any official website, a bootleg game that somehow finds its way into the hands of unsuspecting gamers. It's the stuff of urban legends, a tale whispered in the dim light of gaming forums, a story that has been passed down through the years. This game, so the story goes, was not just any bootleg, it was a game that seemed to hold a dark secret, a curse that wreaked havoc on the lives of those who dared to play it. This was not your average game glitch or a bug that caused crashes. No, this was something far more sinister. Players who dared to venture into this game found themselves facing not just digital demons but real-life misfortunes. Accidents began to occur. Freak occurrences that could not be explained. A player would stumble and fall, breaking a limb, another would suddenly fall ill with no apparent cause. Each player, each accident, one common thread, they had all played the cursed game. As word spread, the game took on a life of its own, players began to share their experiences, their stories of misfortune. The game, they believed, was the source of their woes. It was as if the game was playing them, manipulating their lives in a cruel twist of fate. 
As the tale grew, so did the fear. The game was not just a game anymore, it had become a harbinger of misfortune, a digital curse that seemed to leap from the screen and into the lives of its players. So, here's a chilling thought. What if, every time you picked up your controller you were not just playing the game but the game was playing you? A game that plays you instead of you playing it, a terrifying thought isn't it? The unseen player, the haunted console, the cursed game, are they mere coincidences, or do they tap into our deepest fears? As we look back at these tales of terror let's not forget the palpable fear and suspense that they inspired. Each story, unique in its own right, carries an undercurrent of dread, a chilling reminder of what can happen when the line between reality and virtual reality blurs. The story of the unseen player, the specter that haunts the lobbies and leaderboards, is a chilling reminder that even in a digital world, we're never truly alone. It plays on our fear of the unknown, of unseen forces at work, manipulating our reality. It sends a shiver down our spine as we wonder, who or what is on the other side of the screen. Then we have the tale of the haunted console, a story that tugs at our primal fear of possessed objects. A simple gaming console, a device for entertainment, turned into an instrument of terror. The story amplifies our dread of the unexplainable, of things moving and acting on their own accord, defying logic and reason. Finally, the cursed game, a seemingly harmless piece of software becoming a harbinger of doom. It taps into our fear of curses, of malevolent forces that lurk in the most unsuspecting places. It's the fear of being trapped, unable to escape the clutches of a malevolent force that has chosen you as its prey. These stories, as spine-chilling as they are, offer more than just a good scare. They delve into our deepest fears, stirring up the unease that resides in the darkest corners of our psyche. They remind us of the thin line that separates the realm of the normal from the realm of the eerie. However, the most terrifying aspect of these stories might just be their grounding in reality. These aren't tales spun from thin air, they're true stories, witnessed and experienced by gamers just like us. Remember, it's all fun and games until the game starts playing you. In the end, we might never know the truth behind these gaming horror stories. But one thing is certain, they serve as a chilling reminder of the unknown entities that may lurk in the shadows of the digital world. The lines between reality and the virtual realm can often blur, creating an eerie realm where fear and curiosity intertwine. We've journeyed through the tale of the unseen player, a haunting story of an invisible entity that played alongside unwary gamers. This tale was not merely a ghost story but a chilling testament to the inexplicable phenomena that sometimes occur within our beloved games. Then, we delved into the tale of the haunted console, a terrifying narrative of a gaming device that seemed to possess a will of its own. The horror that unfolded was not just a product of malfunctioning hardware, but a manifestation of a spectral presence that defied all logic and reason. Following that, we explored the cursed game, a narrative that sent shivers down our spines as we imagined the horrifying events that could befall those who dared to play. The game became a symbol of dread, a digital Pandora's box unleashing horrors that could not be contained within the confines of code and pixels. As we leave these stories behind, we carry with us a reminder of the uncanny and the unknown that can permeate even the most innocent of pastimes. Gaming is an escape, a portal to other worlds but as we've seen sometimes those worlds can hide chilling secrets. In the world of gaming the only limit is our imagination. But let's not forget that even as we explore these digital landscapes we must stay grounded in reality, for as we've learned today sometimes reality can be scarier than fiction. Until next time keep your wits about you and game on, if you dare.